Hey folks, my name is Zach Lovett and I'm going to be showing you my new script, Trim Comped Contents. At the lowest level, this script is an easier way to trim down your comp to the duration of the layers within it. Generally, you set your work area boundaries, then right click and hit Trim Comp to Work Area. Fine, perfect. But what this does is kind of makes it a one click solution in that regardless of what your work area is or how your layers are arranged, you just have to hit Trim Comp and it does all that for you. Just auto fits. Great. Perfect. Now, where this kind of goes past that, apart from just being a one click solution, is that let's say your air, your layers extended past the end of it. So if one of your layers went past the end or layer went beforehand, you hit trim comp. And it's going to, in this case, extend your comp. All the layers still work relative to each other. None of the timing has changed. It's just shifted everything over to the right and made the comp duration a lot longer to compensate for your layers within it. And just to show that again, if all of your layers, sorry, if all of your layers had a marker on them at the same time, trim comp, and the markers still stay lined up, just the duration is longer. Brilliant. Now, past just the basics, there's a few options here. First here is trim to all, and this toggles whether or not you're going to trim all of your layers, which is what we've been showing with it enabled, or if it's turned off, you try to click it, you get an error like this, saying no layer selected. This is so that you can just select a few layers. Say you just want to trim to these two layers, you hit trim comp, and it'll only look at these. Everything will still get shifted, but it's only going to shift in relation to these two layers. If you turn this one on, you can now use ignore locked layers. Because you can't select the locked layer, it disables by default. After that, um, ignore locked layers if trim to all is set on. So we've got this layer here, which is locked. If we're going to ignore it, then it's not going to take anything into consideration when it shifts the layers. It's still going to sit starting at frame 8, although everything else will shift around it. If we have that off, it will get factored in. And now that it's the very first earliest layer, that will be the first one that it uh, uses the endpoint. Past that is preserve comp start time. And this is just if your comp time, if the start is not zero, so in this case it's frame 53 or 1 second 23, um, after it does all the shifting and everything, should it keep it at 1 second 23 frames? or should it set it to zero. Otherwise, that's Trim Comp to Contents, and hope you find it useful. Thanks.